Hey there, guys. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the sniper effect and, and the role that it plays on the multiplayer mode of The Last of Us. Here's a game that I got spawned into. It was already in progress, and traditionally, when you get spawned into a game already in progress, you have a situation like I'm here already in a 13-17 deficit. Generally, I'll bail on a game like this right away, but this time I decided I was going to try out my sniper class. It's something I've only worked on for a couple of weeks now. I'm not very good at it, but I'm getting a little better every time out. I wanted to see how much of a difference or what impact it would make in a game like this. We're already trailing. It's not a huge deficit, but it's not looking good. Plus, they've been short-handed for a few moments. So here we have an opportunity. I see this guy on the stairway to my left. If you can get a clean shot at him, which I didn't get a good shot off there. But if you can get a clean shot at him, you might down him in one, depending what kind of damage he's already taken. But in the meantime, I'm going to mark him. There. So now everybody on my team knows exactly where he is, knows if he's an immediate threat or not. Straggler, look alive. And while he's busy fighting with my guy, I get one shot off and he's down. And it helps my guy out as well. Heads up, rifle! So here once again, I've marked the guy this way. My teammates know he's down, he's not a threat. They can focus on the actual live shooter that is the threat and not worry about where's the other person at. Meantime, I'm on the around, I'm switching the angles back and forth so they don't lock on me. Here was another one of those opportunities, but my shot hit the crossbar. However, because I'm using a silenced rifle, he never even detected it. And that gave me the opportunity to push away here. No one comes back from He's that. no longer a threat to my team. So at this point, I've got these two guys that are up here by the classroom. I'm telling my teammates where they're at exactly. They've already figured out where I'm at, so I've got to be somewhat careful at this point. I'm not even taking out myself. But I'm marking him, I'm shooting him, I'm distracting him from two sides now. He's got to worry about his left and his right. And that gives my team the upper hand advantage. Here, I know something's going on in the classroom. I bail in, get a couple of good headshots off there, and I down him while he's reloading. Unfortunately, I didn't know his partner was coming to the back door. So while I'm down and I'm out, Straggler, right there. there's still a situation where my teammates were able to take a two for one, and we'll take that trade any day. As long as you keep on trading two for one, you'll win every game. So here we have another man down, guy coming to assist him. He's going to pick him back up. I really don't have a clean shot, but I can still mark him. The rest of my team knows exactly where he's at. And at this point in time, he's figured out where I'm at as well. Both of them do. And I'm really trying to hope he'll get his butt. In the meantime, there goes his partner taking his shot. So I know I've got to change locations. They know where I'm at. I'm not going to get a good look at anything. So I'm going to move down to the other end of the ramp. And I'm going to see what happens from down here. Now this is going to show you the value of using microphones. I know a lot of guys play that with microphones. This guy clearly was on a team with no microphones, otherwise he would have known I was up there. He wouldn't have walked out in the open like that. But in the meantime, the other two boys still remember that I'm up there. They saw me go over and they were starting doing their part. However, because my teammates are involved now, there's some gunfire going on, distraction going on. Bam! Headshot. Nice clean look at it because they're distracted. What you just saw there, it's something you see all the time in the games. What's unique about the situation, though, and worth pointing out, is we weren't using microphones in this game. I don't know any of these three people on my team at all. He made a point, though, of coming over, patching me up, because he understands the value of what I'm bringing to the team as a sniper. That I'm keeping the opposition off balance, allowing them to get shiv kills, allowing them to throw bombs, and get clean shots at the opposition. 
and he wanted to make sure I remained healthy so I could keep doing that. They're down to their last group. So as you take a look at the scoreboard now, you see that we are in the lead. We've got a big cushion. They have absolutely none. And the only thing that really changed was we add the sniper element to the game that wasn't there in the game. Again, I'm not that good a sniper whatsoever, but just adding that factor took them out of their routine. So if you don't use the sniper stuff, if you're not into the hunting rifle, line, start messing with it. Get used to it. Practice, because it's a huge advantage for your team if you can be that person. Good luck.